just as fast and more efficient. Well, you can show a warning. Everyone just ignores warnings anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> no one gives a shit about warnings. My boss put me on a 22-year-old legacy project at work. At the time it was written, I was eating sand. I saw the most horrible code I've ever seen. I told him I won't work on it, period. I mean, that's pretty fair. But it's also part of the problem. I just read a blind thing today about, about a bunch of people complaining about working at Microsoft because the code is too old and not agile enough. And, like... People complaining that they have to fix bugs, right? No one, no fucking programmers want to fix bugs. Everyone wants to ship features. Like, it, it's considered, like, insulting to a developer to have them fix bugs. Because they're so valuable and they're so fucking big brain. And they should be working on new revolutionary ideas rather than, I don't know, making the shit we already have work before adding more shit to the pile. No one fucking cares, dude. People just consider it a, an insult. Like, the entire developer mentality of the, like, tens of millions of developers in the world is we don't give a fuck about bugs. We care about shipping features. Perf is the only thing that matters. We don't have time to retrain employees to learn languages. So we're just gonna have shitty buggy code for the next 100 years, and it's gonna be great. Never gonna go away. It's just, it's just kind of fucked. At least you have job security. I don't know. Eventually it gets boring. It's just the same bugs over and over and over again. There aren't really new fun challenges. Every once in a while there's like a fun like... Some sort of fun like new thing because someone wrote something in Rust. But in a lot of situations it's just... Just the same shit. Oh, someone used a pointer in kernel land. Yay! <laughs> Come on, JDK. You got this. The reason I want to fix bugs is it nags me to know that there is a bug. Yeah, it's not as fun when your bug list is 150,000 entries long. Eventually, you just give up. JDK takes more time compiling than Chrome. Nah, it's JDK is pretty fast to build, to be honest. See? See? Question is, will it work? Will we even have Java on the command line? My bet is no. I think there won't even be Java here. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Um... will not be recognized by the system. For example, simply calling Java will launch a different JVM. Uh, it's necessary until it fully supports that. This JDK must therefore be invoked by using its absolute location here. Mm -hmm. I could have read that before, but I didn't.
It's just the, it's the little things in life, you know? Bin bash. Bloop, 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 doop, boop, boop. Fuck. Oh, I'm an idiot, aren't I? That's. Bada bing! Look at that! Oh shit, I have to, um, yeah, I didn't, I haven't restarted X since, uh, this. I just haven't restarted my X session, so I don't have that, um, that should do the trick. Um, okay. Language, arm, I think it's V6. Arm V6, little Indian. Let's, uh, let's double check that. <laughs> That's the wrong CPU info. Um, I don't know if this will even have it. Oh, it does! Arm V7. You know, that would just look so much cooler if I were root right now. Um, let's just, let's just go to root quickly, just so we can feel a little better about it. Even though it's the exact same information, let's just run it as root. Yeah, that feels better. Uh, Arm V7. Um... So, arm, v7, little Indian, looks good. Uh, base address, c0008000. Bink. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see how well this analyzes. Yes. Is there KL sim support in uh, Ghidra? I don't know if there is. Has it found code? It found some code. Oh, you got this, Ghidra. You're gonna find so much code in here. You're not even gonna know what hit you. Hit you. Oh, yeah. Hmm. So, what we want to do is we want to write a, um... Let's see. Yeah, I don't know if this can do Kale Sims. It should be able to. There's probably someone probably has a script for it. Apply the information from a system map or a proc casems listing. They're applied. If the symbol type is available, disassembly and creation are done. Ooh. That's kind of cool. Look at that. And then what do you do? You give it a KL Sims? No way. Address type name? Seriously? Well, that's nice. I wish it processed it directly out of the binary itself rather than needing the KL Sims itself, but let's see. Is that is that not doing stuff? Function? Oh, it's making functions. Okay, I'm gonna kill this. Um I'm gonna close this tool. I'm gonna stop all background tasks. Stop. Um, I'm going to not auto-analyze that. 
I'm going to give it Kale Sims first. Uh, sometimes that can help with stuff. So we're just going to delete this. Yes. Uh, load this. Arm V7 Little Indian. Uh, base address C000800000. Um, that looks good. Okay. Double click it. Do you want to analyze it now? No, I do not. What I want to do is run that scripty boy. Bam. So now, hopefully this will give uh, pretty good results here. Is it really that slow? Hopefully it's just printing rarely and it's doing a lot more than what it's saying it's doing because if it's really doing like one function a second right now, that's gonna be a problem. I'm imagining it's doing like a thousand functions every time we see this print, right? Yeah, I think so. Nice. Air parsing line. Oh, yep, because those have uh, those are modules, but everything else looks good. Yep, couple modules that aren't getting uh, parsed. Nice. Nice. And now we'll know what things are like functions and data. Oh yeah. Look at that. Fuck yeah. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Hmm. Wonder how long it will take to decompile. I don't know how if it's gonna need uh, auto analysis if I gave it this. Uh, let's see what that script said. Um, blah blah blah. It's in that format. What a what a great little uh, script. The only downside is in a lot of situations I don't have. Disassembly and function creation are done for text symbols. Okay, cool. Were you able to flash the SBF file in the end? Yeah, we just needed to use Windows 7. It is really tough. Um... I'm kind of curious. GCC 4.4.0. Um, so I have the kernel config and I have the GCC version. Um, I might be able to build a binary identical version of this kernel with full symbols as an elf. Which could be pretty cool. Um, assuming this is the exact same source, but I think it is. Uh, like... I'm pretty sure So this is just called Kernel Tegra. And I think this is the complete kernel. Like I think there's a good chance this is exactly what Hmm. Like, if I got GCC 4.4.0, it might just work.
Um, I love building binary identical kernels, so I might give it a a, a college try. Let, let's try it. Let's try it. Um, so what we want to do is we want to build um, GCC 4.4.0. So, and hopefully this still builds. Um. Do do do. Okay. Um, binary identical kernel attempt. Uh, we get this. Tarx have GCC. GCC. Um, I might need bin utils. Uh, building compilers for target. Arm. What do you think? Arm. Arm. Non. EABI. Thoughts. Let's actually see if we can find info on that. Um, so these were on like SourceForge, I think. Yeah, this like Electrify. Um, Downloads, all the open source software. We're on 19.0. System core, kernel Tegra. So that's the actual kernel that we're using. Build.tgz. I don't know what that is. That looks fun. Let's just see if that works. Um, come on, Source Forge. Oh, no. Oh, no. Looks like some of that stuff broke. Um, Download build. M setup. Yeah, look at this. Target board. Find tools. I'm mainly trying to find like their build command. Hmm. Is this just not gonna build? Sometimes things just aren't gonna build on uh Basically, it's GNU code, and when you have GNU code, basically nothing's going to work when two years have passed because they use so many extensions that things just stop working very quickly. Um, it also could be a threading thing, and building this without multiple threads might do the trick. Is it non-ABI HF? I'm not sure. Like, I can't really get the triple that they used, unfortunately. Um.
Yeah, SF19.0. Uh, this, this is the exact same version. Is there anything else in here that looks good? Sort by size. External web kits. Font spell, bionic, system core. Okay, let's see what this readme is. God, how long is it gonna take to get that readme? Let's uh, let's try some jobs again. It's hard to say if it's failing due to jobs. I don't. I, I'm assuming GCC has been multi-job safe for a while, but who knows? Maybe not. Isn't it crazy that the past uh, leaders in the phone market, like Nokia and Motorola, are now non-existent? Yeah, kind of. They also did zero innovation. That's not downloading, is it? Just like literally everything is a fucking warning. <laughs> oh, there we go. Redefinition of floor log two. <laughs> What's the best way to build this? Oh, here's the C flags. Uh, Colonel. Arm EABI 440. So this was pre-built. Um, I might be able to find this. So we, we can, we can actually see exactly what they used. Nice. This is exactly what I was looking for. Um... Does this exist? It does. Kernel build out. We don't care. Arc is arm. Cross compile is this. Kernel source is this. And then Cable def config is this. Modules. And then DHD. Um, this should work. So we can actually probably get this exact uh, binary version. Um, let's just grab the Andro Android NDK. And then we can, there's probably historical versions. Um, Yeah, like um, unsupported NDK downloads. I agree. Yes, yes. Well, this seems to be the oldest one they have, but this might uh, get me in the ballpark. So let's try it. If I remember correctly, they would have some old versions of compilers in these. So this is off by a couple of years, but um, there's a chance that the um, compiler is in here. So. Dither with the four months. Hell yeah. Glad you keep coming back. I see four nine. 
Oh, these are only gonna have the Android tool chains. These aren't going to have the EABIs, I don't think. Um, yeah, and these also aren't old enough. Okay. Um, hmm. I don't even know where those pre built would be. Like, I wonder if those are still in a repo somewhere. See Android pre built uh, Linux. What's lineage? Is that what Cyanogen mod has become? Hmm. I'm just trying to find some repo that has like an old version. But I don't know if these will have them in old branches. Come on. There's got to be a good source of these. Oh, that's the path that I want. Wait, Android NDK R3. Pre-built Linux x86 ARM EABI 440. Right? ARM EA pre-ABI Linux x86 ARM EABI 440. That's what I want. I want the NDK R3. <laughs> oh, it's so old. Um, damn it. There's no link. Um, dude, there's, <laughs> I should be able to find this. Oh, Android NDK tools, direct links. Hello, hello, hello. Please, please. Mm. Yeah, what's up? Hello, hello. Easy. That link is sick. I should I should mirror every single one of these. <laughs> For sure. That is those are some good fucking links. Oh my god. Okay, so kernel. Let's just do this. Oh yeah, um we'll do this. Um kernel build out. And then we can do uh, export kernel build out is home pleb Motorola kernel build out. Uh huh. Export cross compile is equal to home pleb Motorola 
binary identical, Android NDK, build, pre-built Linux x86, um, ARM EBI 4.4.0 bin, ARM EBI dash. Uh, export arc is ARM. Uh, dash C kernel source. Oh, is that... So I guess it, it wants me to set kernel source. Oh, there we go. Uh, kernel Tegra. Okay. Um, export kernel source is equal to home pleb Motorola kernel build Motorola kernel. Okay. Um, everything looks okay in here. <sighs> Come on! <sighs> okay, okay. I don't know why it wants dash J1, but we're doing dash J1. Come on, please. <laughs> the best links. Thanks to random people from GitHub. Yeah, absolutely. Is this kernel going to be identical? I'm pretty sure we have the exact same source. I'm I'm pretty comfortable with that. I wanted to build with multiple jobs, but oh no. Oh no. Uh-oh. Can't use that. If not defined, Val. It depends on a specific Perl version. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's GNU code. I mean, I guess technically this is Linux code, but, you know. You, you know, you, you, you catch my drift. <laughs> um. Yeah, so... I mean, like, I can technically... Hmm. Um... Let's fucking go. <laughs> I'm so used to this shit. This is just like the standard thing that I deal with. This is, li this is literally what sets a hacker apart from the rest. Is just being able to do shit like this. <laughs> Putting up with bullshit.
Oh, I want to build with multiple jobs, but it says dash J1, so I just have to trust that there's a reason. They probably hacked some, sh some shit into the make files and broke the, uh, the make files. I wonder if this is why you don't like to use libraries. I mean, uh -huh. every time I've ever used libraries, I've regretted it because they always fucking suck and they always are a bigger pain in the ass than just writing it. Come on. What are the odds that the two system maps line up? We taking bets? Same addresses for functions? Thoughts? Time counts PL doesn't exist anymore. Ooh. Some yafs. I don't know how big this kernel is. I think it's relatively small. I don't think there are too many things in it. 20% sure it lines up? Oh, I don't know. I It should be the same compiler. It should be the exact same compiler. Um, the question is, are there like build strings or things that will throw things off? Um, just like the name of my... Than my host name and other stuff because that does end up in the kernel. Like little things like that, I'm a little concerned about. But we could maybe override those and put exactly what they have. So I'll just need system.map. I want to control C this and past jobs and so fucking bad right now. <laughs> like, it's probably fine. <laughs> I don't care if the Shaw sum matches. I just care if all of the symbols are at the same addresses. I think uh, maybe the tech symbols will. I don't know how many things from the build environment will affect it. So, like, obviously there's going to be strings that are my host name, compiler, GCC version, like, stuff like that. The GCC version should hopefully give the exact same string. Um, but I don't know. Oh my god, come on. Oh. Which one of those were the ones we just exploited? Oh no! No! God damn it, I thought we were in! No rule to make target CP cap. See, that sounds important. Um... Hmm... What is CP cap? I don't think it's that. Nope. It's not. Not these. I'm curious if it's this building in like another location 
that's breaking it. Like, I've never built a kernel in a different directory. Yeah, we're gonna just do this. Um, we're just gonna we're gonna use our own build instructions. Make J sixteen this. Um, make uh, yeah, so we should have a config and then just to make j sixteen the image it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's just. Uh, it's because we had a separate output directory. I don't. I don't know. Maybe I've, I'm just calling. I'm just making shit up. Uh, I've built this kernel before, so it can't be too hard to build. I don't remember struggling with this kernel, so I think like that kernel build out instruction is just stupid. I don't know who does that. Building with jobs is nice too. I remember yafs. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. How hard can it be? Fuck! It's so close. It's so close. Like, it's so close to being done. There's just not much more shit here. Back. Yeah, there's like nothing else for it to do anymore. Um. Arc arm mock tegra. Clock.h. So, what's it going? Dot, 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 dot. Dot, dot, slash. Dot, dot, slash. Arc, arm, mock, tegra. Clock.h. What? Huh? You guys feeling what I'm feeling right now? Oh yeah, why is it doing that? I thought I thought I checked for quotes. I don't know why I didn't see him. Yeah. That's it. Ooh, baby. Looking good. S text lines up. Okay, let's just go to like a random thing. Uh, print K. T print K. Yeah, sure, that one. This one. 
BA738. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> it's so close! Son of a bitch! <laughs> Fuck! Diff it. Do you mean hit random keys and look for and binary search manually? Cause that's what I heard. Okay, it's off by there. Fuck. No, we're getting code gen differences. It's off by four bytes! God damn it. No, I thought we had it! It's off by four bytes! God damn it! <laughs> I do think it's some compiler flag and I'm really scared. Oh jeez. Okay, that one's off by a lot more. So, okay, let's just look at the top then. Son of a bitch. Okay, it's good. That's good. Max CPUs. Root delay setup, stubs end. And before it was the J16. I mean, jobs not building linearly. Um, I mean, yeah, who defines the C flags? Um, like, I actually don't know who defines the C flags, to be honest. Uh, okay. What? I hate reading these diffs. I don't know if this is diffing the way I want it to. This is why I don't use diff, because I never understand it. Oh, is it? This is the, this is where they all go off. Word diff. Oh, use git diff, I see, yeah. Um, so here. Those are just ordering, so that's okay. 
Hmm. So it's timekeeping. Okay. Um What? What? Ghidra, are you drunk? I don't know which one is which. I guess this is... Oh, no, it is this. Never mind. Ghidra's not drunk. Uh, 155C0. It's all zeroed out. I guess these early boot things get zeroed out, but... Um... Yeah, do they like zero out the first part of things? Hmm. All right, let's let's try this quick. Um Okay, and then we'll do a Okay, the configs are identical. Well, te technically, technically the date changed. All right, we're going to try and build this with, um, uh, we're going to try and build this single core. It's the, it's the only thing I can think of. Make, oh, and we'll just copy this test config. To kernel config. Yeah? And then we won't even run this. Make J1 modules. I don't know how much that matters, that dev mod thing, but whatever. Okay. Doing everything they're telling us to, except removing some of the things. Modules install. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna, we can probably ignore modules install, that's fine. Alright, build. Ash Fox with the 30, whoop whoop! How was your stream? You copied some weird symbols? Uh, shucks. Well, we're building using that zimage. Mr. Halsey as well, oh my god, all these raids! Brrrr. <laughs> Colonel goes brrrr. Yeah, we'll see, uh...
Everyone's coming to party. Yeah, we're just building kernels here. We're doing some advanced stuff. <laughs> Mainly, we're trying to build a kernel that is identical to the uh, kernel that we actually got with firmware. Such that we'll have nice symbols and be able to read the code better. I don't know why I care, but I, I do. <laughs> Every It all kind of adds up. So... It didn't line up perfectly, so now we're trying to build the kernel's single, single core, only one job. And we're hoping that somehow this is going to make a difference for some reason, somehow. <laughs> Register! Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime! Hell yeah! So, we'll, we'll see. I don't know why this would change anything. There are these sea flags. But that should be unrelated to the kernel building. Um, kernel build out. That doesn't matter. Platform directory shouldn't matter. Because none of this stuff should use the platform directory. I mean, I guess technically, they, like... I, I just don't think these functions would have changed. So, maybe, maybe we want... The Android NDK 4 instead of Android NDK 3 because they like rebuilt their GCC and it's slightly different. Like, when was this kernel built? Uh, Tuesday, October 25th. Which would line up with uh, NDK R6B, technically. That would be August 2011. Now, I highly doubt they're using that bleeding edge of a checkout, but let's just try it. Let's just see. R6B, um, tool chains. Yeah, well, it's definitely not that. Um, <laughs> ha, just trying random things to see if it works. It won't. Yeah, I, I know. I know, but, like, I can dream, you know? Hey! Mm-hmm. I don't know what depth I'm at. Ooh, that's not what I want. They're built with a completely different compiler. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. <laughs> Clearly, th th those two are recompiled. Now, I don't know why that would affect the output. It's hard to say if these uh, GCCs are 
the exact same version or if there's been like slight patches applied to them. Um, so that's December 2010. Man. <laughs> I just don't know. Same problem. Same problem in the same place. <sighs> I don't know. Do we try it? Uh, tool chains. ARM, EABI, pre-built, Linux, bin, this. Is that what I want? Um, copy that. Come on. Come on! Are you comparing builds with the same source? I don't know. Maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> Potentially. Dude, what if these are fucking different? These, like, slight compiler builds. Oh, man. This would be the dream. God, I just, this would be so cool if we could get these kernels to be identical. I don't think it's going to happen, but it would just be dreamy. Or at least if this causes them to differ at a different stage or have like a, a slightly different effect here, we'll see. Oh my god, it's different. 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 And it's just things getting moved around. Oh, here we go. Linux proc banner. It's fucking different. <laughs> um Linux banner. Uh, <laughs> it's different. It's technically different. So, like, there's hope. Linux banners who literally built it. Yeah. Right? 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 Um, so, oh, that is a const car. <gasps> Holy shit. <laughs> it's going to happen. We're going to do it. UTS release, Linux compiled by, okay. Um, scroll, 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 uh, um. Linux version, this, UTS release. Compiled by compile host. Okay. So we'll do UTS release. 
I'm guessing I can export these, but uh, that, right? Export Linux compiled by is equal to this. Export Linux compile host is this. Export Linux compiler is equal to um, like this. I don't know if I include the space or not. Export uh, UTS version. And UTS version. I think I need that. Oh, that's the timestamp. You think this is what I want? Um, Linux banner, this is a string, boy, it's been a while, um, string. Yeah, that's literally what we're seeing. Don't need it. I mean, I'd love for the dates to match. Because <laughs> I can, you know. Um, uh, UTS release. Do you think that's a command line argument? Like, I don't know where these come from. Uh, oh, do I not want this space? I can't remember if I don't want a space or I don't want an equals for these. There we go. Does that change anything? I'd change compile.h. Mm. Oh, there they are. Okay, sweet. So that's what it actually looks like. Um, oh, is the machine Sunfire? So, like, clearly that's what's happening there. Um... So arm, UTS machine. We see a printout of machine here. I just want to see if that is... Um... So who generates that? Um, uh, 
I'm guessing this will get regenerated. Yeah. By who? Make compile H. God, I'm so fucking good. Um, so that was number two. So basically this. Compile time. I'd imagine that the compile time is this. Did it have seconds? Yeah, it did. 5827. Bam. Compiled by this person. Host. This. No domain. Uh, GCC version 4.4.0 GCC. Huh? Huh? Ah, thoughts? Linux banner. I don't know if I need to rebuild that. Not quite. Not quite. What did I miss? It'll almost line up. Do I need this machine? Do you think the machine should be Sunfire? That being said, the machine is not part of this line. Um, you think you think this is a Sunfire? And where's this? So UTS version. Um, UTS release. Kernel release. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Looks like extra version. Um, is it this? Yeah, I think it's that. Extra version. I just want to see if that's getting uh, regenerated. I think it is. K 
Okay. Um. Where is this at? File check, UTS release, don't diff. Mm hmm. Can add this extra version. I just want to see how it's concatenated. Um. I mean, I see that defining UTS release right there. I don't see anything else. And this is using UTS release. So... Um, if it exceeds 64, echo and UT, uh, this. Ah, cat include this. Did that fix this? No. What the fuck? Oh, it's probably on that stage. So on kernel dot release. Read that from kernel.release if it exists. So here's kernel release. Kernel release is this local ver full. which is local version. Extra version. I guess, I guess maybe that's gonna do the trick. And then this whole thing, I guess. I don't know if I need the hyphen or not, so we're just kind of YOLOing. Uh, I don't think that did it. Son of a bitch! dot sub level dash and then the extra version ah point 0.9 fuck off <laughs> <laughs>
We did it. We fixed it. Ooh, firmware name. Why is that there? A pop. But we got further, didn't we? Is there a way I can have this not care about or like ordering? I don't know. Probably not. Um. Sort both. Fair point. Fair point. Um. Hmm. Kelsen's addresses, firmware name. I guess Kale Sims addresses will be off. So what's this? This is so unnecessarily overkill, but I love it. Oh, look at that. Is that different? No. Um. Ink bin. Hmm. Why is this shit so early in the kernel? Firmware name. Is the diff borkin? Oh, maybe. Yeah, it looks off um mm. Arf kill IDs. Oh, there's no Kale Sims addresses in that. Um, start RO data. Yeah, that's at a different spot. I wonder what's off. Five C. 
Like, is it Kale Sims? Obviously, Kale Sims is going to be off, but... There's 10 symbols that are different. Um, do I just try a different compiler again? This is 23,000 lines in. They're literally identical until this point. That's pretty fucking good. This is 50, 54% of the way through the kernel. So like half of the symbols match. But then it just all goes to shit. I mean, do I try building it single core? Do I try a different GCC? Uh oh. Damn, that got, uh. Damn, I lost what I had. Um. Arc is equal to Sunfire. Maybe that one's supposed to be Arm. I'm going to leave that one for now. UTS version is equal to this. Linux compile time. I guess I don't care about those, do I? Version, compile time. Is it just this? And then compile by this and the host is this. Linux compiler is that. That one should have checked out. So those, and then UTS release, we haven't set up yet. Actually, uh, we get UTS release from the other thing. Oops.
Hopefully this is kind of back to where we were. Nude Fetter? <laughs> is that the name? Thank you so much, dude, for the, t uh, the gifted sub to Elijah Power. Hell yeah. Seems if that's zero wraps, uh, check Kale Sims and Soros. Okay, um, let's see how bad we fuck this up. Wow, nice. Uh, it looks like it's back to the original borkage. Okay, so I think we are generating the right thing. Um... I, I mean, I see what Tim Apple's saying. I just don't, I don't understand rap, check, kale, sim, star, and source. I, like. I, I just literally have no idea what that means. Um, so and then everything is off. K sim tab. Is it just K sim tabs? Maybe those don't matter. Oh, there's some stuff afterwards. Fuck. Nude Thetter is a uh, Danish equivalent of whatchamacallit. I've considered changing it. It's funny your streamers try to pronounce it. Okay, I, I like. I didn't know what it was supposed to be. <laughs> Okay, sim tabs. Okay. Everything's off by uh five thousand hex. Um I'd call it a day and ship it. I mean there's there's Literally nothing I can do until it's identical, or I can just give up on trying to do this. Um, Calsims system dot map. So they match and then what's the distance here? What if the rest of the symbols aren't code? That very likely might be Yeah, there's a big gap here. Yeah, it's uh, they're way different. Um, let's 
start RO data. But like RO data is at a different location. I don't like that. In terms of the actual uh, text section, it's probably fine. Switch master mode. Oh yeah, shouldn't I diff those? Yeah, technically, yeah. <sighs> like... Token table, token index, markers, names. I wonder if the generation of KL Sims is not stable. Like when they compress them, if like ordering matters. Uh, we've never tried a build J1. Um. We haven't tried to build J1 since we've had it at this stage. So I could see this affecting KL Sims. So everything else matches until this KL Sims point. So I'm curious if building a single core makes a difference there. I don't know, like... Why it would we could look at how those are generated? So, the code that's used to compress it is in here. Unless RO data can get relocated. But I kind of doubt that. So there's the in the compression, blah, blah, blah. Find best token. Best profit. Okay. Um, this looks stable. I don't see anything in here that's... Oh, is Q sort stable? Is Q sort stable? Oh no. Oh no, and this is gonna be built with the host compiler. Oh no. It's gonna be built with the host compiler and host libc. Doesn't need to be stable. Mm. There's a lot of shared addresses. A lot of addresses are the same, but different symbol names. So I do think the stability will matter. 
Depending on what they key off of. Compare symbols. Address. Then the weakness. Number prefix underscores. That's the only thing I can think of. Sort by initial order. Yeah, I see. Yeah, everything's either different or it is uh, by position. Um, hmm. Okay, some name Len. Like, I wish that worked. I mean, I can try a different GCC. It seems like this is just doing NM on VM Linux. Do you think that's doing host NM? Build from all that shit. Kel Sims is linked in at the end. Well, let's see if it's any different. I don't think it will be. Yeah, same problem. Um, shit. I mean, also, all these markers are off. Some tabs, we don't care about those. Like, everything seems to kind of line up. Like, all of these are basically ending with the same few bytes. Right? Like, all of these addresses are basically the same. They're just offset from where KL Sims was. Right? Like, it, it looks like it's so close. I haven't seen any discrepancies on any of these addresses. You have a different size of KL Sims. Yeah, that's, I think that's it. I think everything else is identical. I think we nailed the compiler. Like all of these things look correct. And maybe we just don't care about the SIM tabs. Um.
I don't know. Um, see full de details. Build your kernel with this. Found section mismatch. I think that's fine, probably. Are there any other args that maybe would change things? I don't think building the modules would matter. I don't think adding the DHD would do anything. Yeah, I think it's different in only KL terms. Yeah, I agree with that. I don't know why it's so much different, though. Like, these are way off. Like, that's a massive difference. Can you check that the difference is constant? Like, between builds? I guess. That the difference in addresses is the same for all things past FW cap? I mean, it it definitely is. I'm curious if the modules like change things. That that would be very strange to me, but so I don't know how that would be done. Maybe the B symbols just don't matter. Simtab Scale sims a module? It's not. It can't be a module. Like, I'm curious if I just want to pad the, uh, the kernel. Yeah, so these are the same between builds, which makes sense. Um, I don't know what would be different. Hmm. I don't get why that 
would be off. It just makes no sense to me. I don't know why that would be different. Um... Unless things get relocated p past this point, like... Hmm. I just don't get how the difference would be that big. Like, all the symbols are the same. Um... <laughs> so that's the Kale Sim script. There we go. Um, there's the strings, yep. Like, th I don't think there are enough strings. Yeah, there's not enough strings. In my opinion, to make the difference. It's like, surely the number of symbols. There's also multiple stages to this. How different are these? Uh, 249? Hmm. What if you use one pass? That's what I'm thinking right now. Are we short symbols or long symbols? I think we have too few. I think we need more, not less. Yeah, we need more. Um... Let's 
kernel. This one. Okay. So, so all symbols and sections, but kale sims is empty. Running kale sims on that gives us that with the right size. Oh, so we don't have a kale sims in ours. I think the second one is that you get the symbols from kale symbols. Has all symbols and sections, but kale sims is empty. Running kale sims on that gives us temp kale sims one, or uh, with the right size VM Linux, and uh, the U name is updated during the step. VM Linux two now has a kale sims section uh, of the right size, but due to the added section, some addresses have shifted. From here, we generate a correct temp kale sims two. The correct Kelsims 2 is linked into the final VM Linux. I mean, that sounds important. It sounds like the second stage is needed. What's interesting is that the KL Sims is not mentioned in the KL Sims dump that we have from the device, which is kind of interesting. I don't think that's gonna work. Oh, okay, not not great, not great. Okay. Clearly that it must be important. Do we want to do three? <laughs> Add the extra pass. Nah, still, still borked. Um. I mean, we didn't, like, set the correct thing, so, like, maybe it didn't actually do the thing. Nah. Um. KSIM. NM. So this runs NM. Yeah, my kale sims has kale sims. Yeah. There's does not. Um Uh update VM Linux for link NM. Config kale sims all. Calsims all. Ah, interesting. Um. I don't know what NM this is using, and what are these tabs? Uh, 
that not a fucking tab? Oh, that's a continuation of that line, I think. Um... Uh, call I see um really I think it's using the host nm. Okay, those are the same. Um, fuck. Who? <gasps> God damn it. And his numeric sort. Okay, okay, okay. Whew. A and B. Yeah, so like these sorts I don't think are stable. The output of NM is not stable. Right? Now, would that really affect it that much? I don't think so. Yeah, NM is unstable. Okay, that is using cross compile NMM. NM. Um Can you hard code the kale sims from the existing kernel and verify it after the build? I don't think that's possible. Like, I 
Like, are you saying to use literally this Kale Sims output as the NM in uh, in place of NM? I hate it. Okay, I've gotten rid of all instances of things with square brackets, which are modules. So there are no modules in here. Um, that should be what we're looking at because we don't care about modules. But we're we're low on symbols, not... I don't fucking know. Um... I don't know if that, uh, worked. Like, I don't know if that did shit. Um... I think I have to rebuild it. What terminal emulator are you using? Just Xterm. Not short on symbols, I have extras? What? Do I not know how diffs work? Which one's old and which one's new? Oh boy. Um, It had no effect. Are you sure I have extra? I have a larger address there for this. No, I've got a lower address. Never mind. Yeah, I am missing symbols. We've already done this a million times, so let's do it again. So this is the delta, which is like 
3,600 symbols are missing? Like, does that even fucking make sense? How many modules do we have? It's also not necessarily 3,600, but 923. Uh, 36, 12 divided by 3. 12 of 4 divided by 4. 903. What did I just say? 923? 923. Okay. So I've got 42768 in here. 42768 kernel system.map 42777. So I actually am over by 9 module uh, 9 symbols. So how would it be off by that much? Unless it's a runtime thing. Unless this kernel is identical and it like relocates to make room for the uh, dynamic modules, but that just that's so much work. Like that doesn't make sense. I mean, what we could literally do is just flash, we could flash this kernel and just see. You have more symbols, but you store more efficiently. I mean, that's, it's hard to, um, that's, uh, it's not the case. We know it's not the case because the kernel code has not changed. So it, it can't be that. I think maybe at runtime things just get moved around and like things are not what they seem. Um Here's Kale Sims addresses. There just might not be anything after this that matters. Yeah, I don't. Okay, let's see what's after this. Num Sims names, markers, token table, token index, this firmware, and that's it. There's nothing after that. There's nothing after that point. The the RO data must just like get dynamically uh, allocated or some shit. I I think these kernels are identical. Like I'm actually pretty confident in that. I guess, I mean, we're, we're only looking at the dis uh, text. Um, if we're looking at data, there's going to be stuff after that. I don't want to disassemble all. Mm. What's the symbol that we care about? Uh, NVOS FOPS. Yeah, that's technically in bounds. C 
keep you freak forever. I don't even know where that symbol would come from. There's a static. Yeah, so. Um. Hmm. The only thing I could think of is I could just try to boot it and see if it's different, but... Modules prepare. Unless like that matters. It's just... Um... Make... I don't know if that modules prepare matters. I don't really care if those actually install. Is so the depth mod? Hmm. So you can just try everything that they do. Okay. Literally just running all the commands that they say. And then we'll run these from inside the kernel directory. AJ16. There's the VPN driver, but I don't think that matters. We still have that make file hack in. You haven't configured your kernel. I did. I did. Right there. Um, let 
It's okay. Let's try all this shit again. Leroy! Uh oh. I feel like this is just gonna fail in the same way. I don't know what that shit is. No rules to make target. Okay. Unless it's this this section mismatch. We've been ignoring that, but maybe it matters? I don't know. That looks the same as what we had. Kernel config data off. Same shit again. Uh... Different addresses. Obviously that one's the same. And that one is... Larger by quite a bit. It got closer. Like... Um, is it, I don't think the kernel like accommodates for modules. Like each time you build a module against the kernel, it like grows the area for kale sims. But I don't understand that.
Like... I don't want to do that. Um... Test config, kernel build out config. We're gonna skip the configure stage and go right to these, such that we're using the original config. There we got modules, modules install. So if it's module related, well, we'll know very quickly here. Maybe we need to build this VPN driver and the DHD uh, KO, although these might be hard to get. Dep mod. I just, I don't think that would modify the kernel. Like the only thing we're doing differently is using this like build out directory. Uh, copy firmware to kernel build out. It's just like trying to use that directory. We're doing it exactly as they tell me to. And it looks like we're about to be successful too, which is cool to see. And there it is. Okay, so I'm really tempted to do it without the modules to see if it's back to where we were. Before we were BE02C and now we're BF. FFC. So we like gained a decent amount of space there. Like we got we got much closer. Um To be honest, once we get once we get close enough that we actually get the same um RO data start, then all of this stuff will align too, right? So like It's, it really just kind of comes down to that. I have no idea. Okay, so we're just going to this clean. Okay, we're going to just only do this image. So we're not going to do the modules. Uh, oh, we're going to copy this. And then we're going to copy this. And then we're going to run this. And we're not going to build the modules. Because this is what we were doing before, right? I guess technically this is doing Z image. Okay. No, that's the BFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFF
I don't get how we're not getting what we did before. Like, technically we're doing a make Z image, and before we were doing like a make image. Let's try this for funsies. Oops. And I might have broken it. Yeah, it's off by hex 2000. Yep. All right, let's see what this says about this mismatch. Unless the DHD like says where RO data starts. I don't know if that's how that works. I think the DHD just says the layout of hardware. I don't think that would affect where RO data would get loaded. Um, PDRV in this. Annotate that. Okay, so that's some shit that doesn't matter. Um, Well, now everything's off, but that's okay because we didn't really do the cleanest build there. Um, so, why would this command be different than building it in tree? Right? And that's mind boggling to me. Uh, test config to config. Okay. So we're gonna do a make J16 Z image. I'm like starting to suspect in some crazy fucking world that like the path lengths of the output directory matter. We'll see if this ZM, like if having the C kernel source and O kernel build out affects these offsets and puts us back to the BEO2C instead of the BFF, F whatever thing, that's going to be really interesting. Okay. And there's the BEO2C. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing. Um, make disk clean. That's what we did to clean before. We did a copy of the config, but we have to copy this config to uh, kernel build out, and then we're going to run uh, this command, which is identical, except we're giving it a, an output path, and then the build's going to fail halfway through, and we're going to have to copy a directory, but that's fine. Or we can race it and just do this uh, firmware. Okay. 
So then this is going to produce a new kernel. We're not, we didn't run the module stuff. Um, the depth mod stuff. I wonder if it's depth mod, and if we do VPN driver, we'll it'll uh, finish it up. I I think that might be it. It might be those modules. It might like make room for those symbols or something crazy, um, which sounds really fun to me. We can uh, we're gonna have to somehow find this VPN driver code. Um. Um, oops. Okay, so will we get the FF version? Holy fuck. So there's a difference between this. Change to that directory. Why would that matter? What? 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 I mean, that's for debug. But... What? What are these in there for? Those are, those are, de they're deep, they're debug, right? <sighs> Genio AS. What? What? Um. That makes no sense. That's just the output directory where it creates the outputs and. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have. Any, like, names on here? What's the username? Um. Wh Why would that matter? I don't know. Grab for slash? That's just... Not gonna really do it for us. We need to know, um, what was the name? What was the... Dude, where's the build directory? <laughs> yeah. 
do you think it's the source path that matters or the build directory? <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Both? Are we are we going to do this? <laughs> Let's fucking go. Um uh kernel And what do, what do they say? Do you have any leaks here? Kernel Tegra. Platform Kernel Tegra. Okay. Cool. That is that is explicitly what, what they say is that platform Kernel Tegra. Um I don't think the other path would ma matter, right? Uh what's the Kernel build out. Oop, oop. I can do that. All right, here we go. Platform directory is this. And then the kernel source is at platform dir. Um, I think the cross compile is okay. Kernel build out. <laughs> um cross compile I think we're okay there So platform that, arc is arm. Um, and then uh, what did we change? This. Copy that to scripts. I think that was it. I think those were all the things we had to change. I'm curious if this will fail to build. I wonder if they use, um, I think this will, in the same way bef as, as we've seen before. 
Uh, we're going to need to copy that firmware folder again, just due to that weird dependency. Unless it's using uh, platform dir. So, but I, I don't know if it's going to matter. I'm, I'm curious if it won't, because that's interesting. Okay. Oh. Um... Copy firmware. I think this is just to kernel build out, right? Yes. <sighs> is this is this the dream? Is this the dream? <laughs> there it is. Um, Um, we can do that. We can do that one, right? This one's easy. This. Oh, did we use their config? Mm, yeah. Um... This is the one. Do you have any opinions on one fuzz? Nah. I, not really. I haven't really used it. Will it work? Will it work? Come on. I don't think I've ever done this to a kernel. This is definitely not the easiest. <laughs> it requires a little bit of uh, finesse. Um, oh, there's a lot of lines in this file. Um, um, Guys? Uh, 
I think we did it. I think we did it. I think these other things are just like weird out of order things. I think we did it. Um, oh, let's, uh, I'll diff it against the Kale Sims, uh, Nomad. So, yeah, 1,600 lines. Yeah, like, these things kind of getting reordered, stuff like that. I think it's just reorderings. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, like e data here is here, and reset devices is here, and reset devices is here. I think it's identical. Populated map, yep. Just a flip. Oh my god. Is there a better way to diff these? Um, I guess I can sort both. Um, is numeric sort stable? I guess there's no way to... You can do plain sort, just sort, really? Um, I'm pretty excited about this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh. Oh, no, that's e-data. Um, there's just a few extra symbols. That's it. There's just a few extra symbols. But I bet this is actually Kale Sim's addresses in the real thing. Yeah, that's Kale Sim's addresses, right? This it's the first address in Kale Sim's. That is, yeah. It's we did it. <laughs> I mean, we don't know if the text sections have the same hash, but I, I think it's safe to say that uh, we built the exact same fucking kernel. <laughs> that is incredible. <laughs> That's fucking nuts. Like... That's actually pretty fucking cool, I gotta say. Like... Unreal. Unreal! Is literally only stuff was added by ours. We were B, right? Yeah. It's just, we added a couple symbols. But I'm pretty sure that if I were to boot this and dump... I, I'm pretty sure it's the exact same kernel. I don't think there's any difference. Like, any bit difference in these kernels. Like, these symbols would not show up. These ones uh, wouldn't show up in Kale Sims. If we were to flash this kernel and boot it, we would not see Kale Sims addresses and stuff. Um... They just don't show up. That's just a difference between system map and KL sims. Um, I guess we would know by looking at... Uh, so the very first address should be 8,000. KL sims 2s
Uh, I don't know what text is. But given the first four, so there should be four symbols at the same address at the start. One, two, three, four, right? So this KL sims is identical, right? If we look at system.map, right? So basically KL sims was, starts with the same four things repeated. Um, but if we look at system.map, we'll see that there's one of these swapper PG DIRs and then four things, right? And if we take a look at one of the things that was added, swapper PG DIR, right? So the actual Kale Sims would not contain that and thus it would match this one. Uh, like, I'm pretty sure we got it perfect. Like, everything is identical. Does kernel filter alt Kale Sims? No, it's just when it generates that .s file. There must be some... Something. I, I don't know what it does, but, like, these kale sims addresses would get filtered out. Like, these addresses wouldn't exist. Um, and then these wouldn't either. Because we're comparing proc kale sims with a uh, system map. See you on Desu. Fuck yeah. Um, Motorola. Want to save that off? Um, VM Linus, uh, matches, um, 19.0, uh, prod build, right? So, debug info not stripped. So, Oops. Just trying to clean things up a bit. Um. Well, I think we know what uh, kernel config and stuff we're running. <laughs> Holy shit! That's insane. Absolutely fucking insane. Let's load up VM Linus. Yep, ARM LE. Technically, it's V6. Well, it wants to do that, so let's just ship it. Fucking easy, dude. <laughs> that took a long time. But I think it was worth it. Okay, and we'll pop this open. Yeah, we'll analyze it. Go ahead. Do your thing, Ghidra. This is called padding. There's the CO8. All the symbols. We're going to have everything now. Hell yeah. <laughs> I can't fucking... Believe it. Beautiful. Uh, whoa, uh, prod build. We were able to uh, build the exact same binary identical kernel uh, from um, 
the uh, kernel tegra dot tgz, um, which matches the which matches the this uh, kernel. Um, this is done by using um, by using the uh, these build steps. Bink. Um, make sure your absolute paths match this identically. E.g. create the slash local repo uh, folders on your build system. Okay. Um, echo platform dir. That's the actual build. Export arc as arm. Platform dir. Blah, blah, blah. Um, uh, mods. To get this to work, we used... Um... You know, I just nuked that uh, cross compiler. Um, boop, as the uh, cross compile. This can be obtained from Where was it? Um, N D K N five or R five. This can be obtained from this I'll make a note of that gist because it's really good. I'm actually gonna fork that gist if I can. Um Nice. <laughs> nice. Now it's mine. <laughs> Bink. Um. Okay. Uh, create that. Set the cross compile. In our case, we use that very specific cross compile, which is this. Not that it matters. The absolute path on this one doesn't matter. Um. Kernel source is equal to platform dir kernel tegra. And then build all these things. Um, uh, we modified the uh, roots level kernel make file. Uh, um, this. Okay, and we also hard-coded some uh, build strings. And this was in kernel source, some script. Uh, make compile. Um, scripts make compile 
H. Just paste the whole thing. I don't give a shit. And then run all those commands. Um, yeah, that looks accurate. Um, there might be a build error um, on the firmware. Uh, copy the firmware directory to the build directory. And this will be at kernel uh, source firmware. Uh, finally, um, use the uh, config.gz found on the phone um, and place uh, ungzip it and place it into. Uh, kernel build out slash config um, then uh, build everything make sure your um, paths match these absolute paths as the strings affect the um, output kernel binary uh, including the offsets. Nice font. Nice font. <laughs> Sick. Sick. All right. <laughs> Fixed. You modify the Perl script. That's fine. I'll figure that out in the future. That That's not important details. I-M-O. Those are standard things that I'll deal with when they come up. Okay, so let's see how this code looks. I think Ida actually does a lot better than Ghidra when there's full symbols. Um, Because Ghidra... Is there not type information on a VM Linux? Is it just symbols? Does it not have type information? Uh, types. There shouldn't be unless you enable it. Really? How the fuck do I get that? Um, there's seriously no type information? I type hood. Um, hmm. That is part of what? Is it dwarves? Yeah. Okay.
Yeah, it has it has um structures. Yeah. It, it yeah, that just makes sense. Right. So what's awesome about this is we can now look at um this is really useful for when you want to write exploits. We could see that our f sync, right, is offset 60 and I think we can get uh payhole uh, to generate a uh, hex. So if we look, here's uh, here's the f sync, and it's at three c, right? And look, three c. Nice. Was it enabled in the config? I don't. I I don't. I'm pretty sure it will just always be in there. But yeah, I guess Ghidra just maybe doesn't handle it. Like it should know the typing on these functions. Like that information should be present. Um, Probably a key script somewhere. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. No, I don't see it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm curious if Binja can do it. Like, oh yeah, there you can see the file names. Yeah, dude, that's so cool. We made an identical kernel. Oh my God. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> so, is there a way from dwarves that I can, is it only PA hole in there? I don't know what other tools they have. PA hole and other dwarf tools. I'm curious if, I, I want to get like function information like that they have to have that the, the typing of um the typing of uh arguments to functions let's just see what binja can do here um Here's how I've been just doing on CPU usage. It should be able to use everything. Yeah, it looks like it is. Good job, Binja. Good job. Um. Analyzing. I know Ida will pull those out of dwarf uh, symbols. I, I think dwarves have that info. They have to, otherwise you can't do info locals or like info uh, um, args or whatever it is. Uh, 
What if I GDB it? Can you, like, see, like, what GDB would say if you're in a certain frame? Okay, now it's an analysis phase two. Now phase three. Oh, yeah, it's hammering course for sure. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, come on, use the cores. Oh, it's done. <laughs> um, okay. It's a good test of uh, Binary Ninja. It gets better every time I use it. So... Uh, maybe it doesn't have type information either. Is that just not in an elf? No, it, it has to be. It has to be. Like... Hmm... Um, Linux kernel build symbols. Hmm. Like, are they just not the fullest of symbols? Now I just don't know if, like, any of my tools are just not displaying that or using that information, or if they're literally not there. Um... Uh... Dwarf symbols, uh, local types. Um... Right? I would kind of expect... Hmm... Config debug info. Linux. Debugging kernel. There's apparently a reduced one, but I don't I don't want reduced. Keeping it, uh, turn on the frame pointer. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. KGDB enables a built in kernel debugger. Yep. Hmm. 
So, GTB info local. Uh, is there a way to do info locals on something you're not currently in? Um... Hmm. Of the current stack frame. Yup. Like, do they not have locals? I feel like they have to. Selecting a frame. Hmm. Um, cool, cool, standard. Dwarf four, yeah, GDB is not happy. What is this dwarf four? Uh, resolving variables and optimize code. Okay. I don't know if that exists. I don't think that's a thing. Config debug info. Um... What's A flags? Is that the uh, assembler flags? So it's using just, just dash G. That, that would be my interpretation is it's just using straight dash G. Um, would dash G not have, it would have to have info locals, right? Like, it has to have the fucking args to a call. Like the, you're, you're telling me you're going to currently bug and you, you basically have symbol names, but you don't know what variables are. I find that really hard to believe. Um, mm. 
What can NM output? Just the names? Yeah. NM is only going to be names. Um... Info locals needs the program to be running. Yeah, I don't know. That's so stupid because you don't need that in uh, Windbag. Debugging on Linux is just so fucking ass. These tools are all garbage. Um, if that's all that's in SimTab. I feel like this can't be the only symbol information. Okay, um, debug dump frames. Debug dump. Hmm. Here's what adder would be. Online core notes. Hmm. I just don't know. Uh, eh, we'll just do char foo. Should be able to see types in GDB? Yeah. I know I have type info. <sighs> Fair. Um... Obs jump the a dot out. I mean, what do I call it? Foop or something? Test. Yeah, so like.
So, like, it knows that that's a struct waffle, and it knows what args are there. So, why can't Ghidra pick that up? Some extra options in Ghidra using dwarf? Okay. Dwarf. Um. Oh, it skipped it because it, ah, is that, is that literally it? I don't know if I have line number info. has more die records than the limit of this after adjusting the options. How do... There you go, it's worth... Import data types, import functions, output this. I don't know what, uh, add comments. Include offset and comments attached to the Ghidra data type or function. Yeah, fuck it. Just give me everything. Give me everything. <sighs> Are you fucking serious? I got absolutely fucked. <laughs> Import types. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that's more fucking like it. God damn it. <laughs> I was like, that just makes no sense. We'll see how much better this output gets. <laughs> Here they come. Here come the types. Just a couple. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> is that is that actually true? Oh my. Well, that's, yeah. Three, nine, one, what was it? Nine, three, eight, three. Yeah, we're like, we're almost 1% complete. <laughs> I wonder if this is gonna completely ruin my RAM. I feel like it should be okay on RAM. Oh, look at that progress right there. Now we're at 2%. 2%. Is it speeding up? Yeah, I think it's speeding up a bit. <laughs> well, I'm glad I saw those options now. 
Thanks for bringing that up. Holy shit. We just turned on everything, right? Is that what we did? I forgot where the settings were. Options for this, yeah. Dwarf. Yeah, I just turn on literally everything. I guess this one didn't stay ticked, but whatever. Include the die offset info. I don't know what that is, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, we're parsing some types. And this is just types? Shit, dude. Let's take a look for uh, file operations. Find uses of. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. I was like, where are these things going? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, name. Yep, all of these. And then the offsets. And we can switch these to uh, hex. I think there's a toggle. Pretty sure there's a hex toggle. Show numbers is hex, yeah. Okay, cool. Like this is mainly the information I wanna see. Nice. So, so far nothing has used that yet. I will be curious how Gidra does on this. Print case six. Nice. Um, <laughs> that is a lot of types, man. But this is pretty comparable to what I'd expect out of Ida to hand. Like, this is a 70 meg binary. Like, it's not small. <laughs> I'm totally, this is acceptable. There's nothing wrong with this. It took minutes to actually like disassemble and do everything. To parse all these like types and shit, take all the time you want. I don't give a shit. Like memory usage isn't insane. It seems like it's okay and acceptable. So nice. Um. Is there anything else we want to do here? I don't know. Might be a good time to call it. I feel like I'm pretty happy with this. I'm going to let this analyze, and then maybe we'll look for more bugs in this later when this loads and we have like a, a perfect uh, dev environment. So, yeah, I think I'm going to call it there. I think this, uh, this is a good place. We, we got everything we wanted to work. We got that root. It took us, what, a couple hours to get root once we actually uh, picked, once we actually had things running? It was pretty good. So, all right, y'all. See y'all another time. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this stream. We'll, uh, we'll do some more stuff later. See you around.